So a lot of people have asked about these particular scales, these G10 scales. And I have very mixed feelings about them. On the surface, they look amazing. It's like Legos. I can just build a knife so easily, pop these out whenever I want, switch tools. Wow, be great. Well, that's sort of true. Let's start with the good though. The texture, I really like. They're thinner than a traditional scale. Not dramatic, I don't know if you can see that. Very unscientific here, but they're slightly thinner. And the texture is very nice and they're very, extremely durable. So that is really cool about them. That's it. Beyond that, they're kind of a pain to deal with and I'll tell you why. First of all, these little screws that seem so easy, well, they sort of are. You're gonna get one of these when you order these. You get them from um, AliExpress. There's like different vendors, but first of all, it's gonna take, I don't know, three weeks to get them. You get a little crappy tool, it'll work. Um, ideally though, you wanna get your own more robust tool. And, you, and it comes with these tiny little screws. So aside from the fact that they're very small and if you drop one and it goes flying across your floor, it's very easy to lose. I would highly recommend getting extra set. Uh, I've heard from some people that the size is a little off sometimes where you say you're ordering for like a three layer, it's really not quite long enough. I don't know if that's true or not. They're just hard to work with because of the size. And more importantly though, the middle screw here, which is smaller, is very, very easy to break. You'll shear it right off, the little uh, screw that goes into it. So that's why you should really get extras. It'll also come with, depending on what you order, these very thin liners. These things suck. They bend really easily and they get warped. I don't like them, but sometimes you have to use them because the thicker ones, the traditional liners are not going to work with the screw length. So you gotta squeeze these smaller ones in. And the other issue, and you're gonna to need to use these most likely is because for your toothpick, well, more, more importantly for your tweezers, you need a backing on here because if you don't have the backing on there, the tweezer itself is going to stick out and get this upside down. But when you slide your tweezer in there, the it's going to stick out. This will hold it in place, keep it closed so it won't catch the tools on the inside. Uh, the other issue, though, and more importantly, is that when you're assembling a knife with these things. These are not forgiving at all. The brass pins, yeah, they're a pain to deal with. You, get, you gotta paint them, I get it. But guess what? You get a longer brass pin, it, ha it has some flexibility in there. It's got a little give. You can work the knife when you're assembling it. When you have these things, you don't really have that option and you can't torque these too much. So what happens is when you assemble one of these knives, there's very little tolerance on them and you've really got to put pressure on them. And depending on your tool set and springs that you're using, trying to get, you're, you're gonna get two of these easily. To get that last one, you've got to do all sorts of Houdini movements to try to just somehow crank the knife so you can get your screw in there. And every once in a while, you're gonna break one. Sometimes they work easily, sometimes they're a total pain. So, that's, that's what I'm getting at here, is that they look deceivingly easy to work with. They are not. So if you've never built a knife before and you think you're just gonna get these and it's like Lego pieces, good luck. It's not like that. So bring some patience to the table when you start working with these for the first time. Just, um, you know, fair warning, because when I first saw them too, I thought the same thing. I'm like, wow, these things are great. Um, this is where the metal, People have asked about these. Another one, these are more expensive. I don't even know what they're made out of. They say titanium, obviously it's not. But another thing on AliExpress, um, I've never had an issue with dealing with them. 
I forget the vendor I use. There's a few people out there. You can just look at the reviews. You'll see them. I wouldn't worry about ordering them, uh, but, and they're extremely, I think, reasonable from a price perspective, but definitely get yourself some extra screws. Get longer ones, get shorter ones just to have them and do it all at once because it takes forever to order the stuff. This is an Amazon. You're not going to get in two days. Like I said, it's going to be like three weeks or something like that, but they are nice, but they definitely have their drawbacks. And, you know, and the other issue, they don't make, I haven't seen any of these in plus version. So they've only got the two slots, this metal one, and a lot of the metal ones will have no slot. So no toothpick, obviously, or tweezers. Uh, the other thing, and, you know, maybe this isn't a big deal for most people, but for me, there's no um, pin slot. I really like the pin. I really do. I think having a little pin in there is surprisingly convenient. And it'll come in handy when you least expect it. And you cannot, I guess in theory, you could maybe put a slot in. I don't know how I'd do it. I think I'd just end up screwing these things up. So anyway, that's my take on the G10s. If you want to try them, order them online. Like I said, be patient because it's not going to be as simple as you think. Get the extra screws and, um, you know, good luck. And while you're on AliExpress, you may as well get yourself some of the longer brass pins with the bushings. And it's, I'm telling you, I just think they're a lot easier to work with. That's just my take. Anyway, that's all I got. This is a longer one. I hope this answers a lot of questions because people are always asking about these things. And they're, again, okay. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. I hope you like that one.